Hi, hello everyone. This video is about making <clears throat> a carved foot on a cup or a tea bowl. This isn't. A, this is more of a cup than a tea bowl, but carved so you can get this kind of effect on there. It's very rustic. Um, it's meant to look like that. That's intentional. Um, just another way. Sometimes when the rim's not even, and to put it upside down and trim it in the traditional way. Also, I like this foot because it will make reference to um, uh, you know some of the T-bowl where the foot's very. Um, I would say rustic is really the only way, um, but it doesn't look sloppy. So uh, that's actually really hard to do. Sometimes these work out. Sometimes they uh, they're horrible. Sometimes I pull them off, so you got to make a bunch of them in order to get it right. Okay, so leather hard is what you want uh, to start off with. Maybe a little bit softer, depending on the size of the cup. Depending on you, know, you make more of them, you get in a better idea of what you want. Um, so this one is a little bit before leather hard. So what I use tools, the one that comes in the basic kit, I use that. This is just a sculpting modeling tool. What I'll use is this edge here, and I'll use a one inch putty knife. Sometimes I only use one, sometimes I use all of them. Depends. Depends on how the clay feels and what I like. Now, diameter of the foot, what I do is I just start carving. And I threw these specifically thinking about this foot. Um, I think what I used to do is I would just use this because I waited too long or I just didn't the trimming was gonna be too difficult so I just hand carved this um, I just threw these it's a little on the soft side but that's okay so I know that in the inside here so I'm getting this ledge here the inside is like that too so I'm gonna match this profile um, also the diameter is important if I have it too wide it just looks weird and you don't want to pick it up, it looks too heavy. If it's too narrow, then it just looks too fragile and um, and visually it, it, it just doesn't look right. Now, you do want a shadowing when the bowl's sitting here. You do want this to go in far enough so it has this it creates this profile here, which I think is interesting. So the foot has to be narrow enough to do that. So I'll go a little bit narrower. And I don't care that it's perfectly round. That's not the point of this. So I'm just whittling away. So we just had a lockdown. Doing this on my prep. I'm not going to change the video. I think it's funny. At least we have lockdowns. Anyways, the cinder block building, I think a 5.56 five, round will go right through the walls. So, anyways, so I'm left with that. So, now what I'll do is I'll go around either like with this and carve this, or be a little bit more control with this one. So, let's see if I can get in there. Okay, it's not working, so I'll just use this one. What I'll do is I'll come around, I'll just carve a, a line like that. And then I'll go ahead and I'll carve away the clay. Now, if I got a lot of clay, obviously you go further, you know. Um, sometimes these, foot, these feet don't need to be that deep. Um, this edge, kind of knock that down. I don't want it to be too smooth or, or, or refined. I like to have it, I don't want to have sharp edges, but I want it to look like it's, you know, like it's very rudimentary. That's part of the whole thing. Um, I want this foot to be smooth, but I'm okay with all these inconsistencies here because some of that I can't just plan. I just have to let that happen. And that's part of the overall look of this. Now, I'll take this corner again and I'll just go in here and really refine that foot. Let me do that and then I'll show you. And just by making that line, you see how it really defines it. And then out here, 
I'll do the same thing. I'll make that. Okay, take these burrs off. You can kind of see that. Okay. These little crumbs. When it dries a little bit, I'll deal with it more. Right now, it's a little soft to do that. Okay. But that's all I'm looking for for the foot. That's all I need. All right. Now, this, it's so smooth, it doesn't match the rest of the cup. So I'll just kind of do something there to alter it. And I'll get rid of some of my throwing lines, marks. Um, and this line, this stark line that's here, I want to get rid of that. So, see what I'm doing? I'm just going along the surface with this wood tool. And even if there's like a dent somewhere, like maybe I'll put a dent right here. So you can kind of see this dent in there. Okay. Kind of soften that line. I won't get rid of it completely, but it's kind of subdued some way. Now, with this, when the clay's drier, if there's still thicker areas, what I'll do is I'll just do it on one side. So I'll go in like that. I'll just break that off and knock that down. So just that little carve that's in there, I like that. It breaks up that line that goes all the way around and I'll leave it, okay? And then I may do some other things to it. So I put that little dent right here, go around. I got this little carve right here. I really like that texture when you break it. So you can't get that from when it's too soft or when it's sometimes with leather hard, it actually works it's nice too. Okay, but I'm okay with that rustic edge. All right, so that's hand trimming a bowl, a rustic foot on a bowl. Thanks.